っと今回このお店を、まあ、東京で、まあ、日本で東京で作るということとそのナイキの,そのカルチャーをどうミックスしていくかということについては、まあ、随分と悩みましてスポーツのカルチャーとファッションのカルチャーが融合したりとか東京っていうのはすごくその、えー、と意識が高い街だと思うんですね。This idea was the idea of lifestyle branding. The idea that if companies wanted to be truly successful and competitive in a global marketplace, they had to understand that their true product was not their product, i.e., sneakers, movies, lattes, computers. It was an idea, a lifestyle. It was meaning itself. The idea of brands, not products, explained for me a few things at once. It explained the Assault on the public sphere in the form of corporate sponsorship. It explained why we were seeing ever more new and creative forms of marketing, particularly directed at young people. It explained why, despite the promise of choice and interactivity, there seemed to be less choice. Miyashita Park in central Tokyo has become a retreat for many of the people who do not have anywhere else to go. But American corporate giant Nike is trying to put an end to that. Secretly and without any public hearing, they have signed an agreement with the local city government that allows them to expel the inhabitants of Miyashita Park and transform it into a Nike Park. Building of Nike Park will start at the beginning of April and has led to severe protests from inhabitants of the park and from the surrounding neighbors. ところを守るんだ。